Hi, everybody. It's Randy Hilarski here. Today, we're going to talk about staking hex. There are two different kinds of hex stakes. There is a traditional native stake, and there is an HSI stake that you can do using the Hedron app. Well, both are great, but there are big differences. If you stake on gohex.com, it's a regular native stake that you can choose the date you want to do. You want to set it up. You want to do 10 years, 15 years, five years, whatever you choose. But you have to honor that date. Okay. You are not allowed to unstake without penalties until your stake is 50% complete. People say, oh, Randy, that sucks. Why would I want to, why would I want to lock myself up for that amount of time? Well, it's something called weak hands. The reason why Hex has been so great is because we have taken our Hex and we have punted them out many years. And those stakes cannot be touched. The Hex is locked up. And that's what's so great about GoHex.com. And using there's another app that you can use called Icosa app where you can do a native stake. It works great. It's just a different reason to do it than the HSI stake. Now, what does the HSI stake do? It's a staking instance. With the HSI stake, you can choose to do the same amount of time, but then you could also wrap it at a later time, like an NFT, and then you could sell the NFT. That's the difference. So if you're a person who wants to be liquid and, and wants the opportunity or the, the chance to sell your hacks at an earlier date than your, than your commitment, then HSI is for you. But if you're a person who wants hex for the long term and is looking you know, to commit to the 5, 10, 15 years, whatever you would like to do, then I recommend doing the traditional native stakes. They're both great. I have both. So you have a little bit of each. But first, we're going to go through the traditional native stake. Okay, we're here at go.hex.com. I'm going to take you through how to do a native stake. First of all, we're going to look at the bonuses. There's a longer pays better bonus and there's a bigger pays better bonus. The idea here is to go as long as you can to optimize the most longer pays better bonus that you can get. For every year that you stake up to 10 years, you get a 20% bonus. All right. The whole idea here is to maximize your staked T shares. All right. The amount of hex divided by the share price, one T share equals 10 to the 12th shares or one trillion, one T share equals one trillion shares. Okay. I know you don't need to know the math behind that, but right now it costs 24,200 hex to get a T share. But like I said, you get a 20% bonus for every year that you stake. So let's do some math here. Let's say that we're going for one T share, 24,200, right? For 365 days, 365. So you get 1.19 T-shares because we did one year. 4,840X is your bonus. Now let's, let's, for example, let's just do 100 days. You got 1.05 T-shares. See how that changed? Now let's go 10 years. This is the maximum. Whoops, sorry. 8650. 10 years. So now you got... Right, you see how that worked? You got 20% more or 48,400 hex for going out 10 years. For taking that hex off the market, you got a bonus of 48,400 hex. Your effective hex at the end of the t- at the end of the stake is 72,600. That's cool, right? So, how long do you want to go? It's up to you. What I recommend doing is a staking ladder. You have starting at 1 year, you do it every year up to 15 years if you can depends on how many hex that you have okay so maybe you only want to do 1000 if you have 12000 you do 1000 every every year for 12 years okay and then you click stake and that's it you staked your hex the cool thing is that you also earn something called heat called hedron while your hex is staked and you can see all that on this website on the Hedron website. I don't have any hex stakes on this address, but this is where you would find them. And every year or every two or three years, you can go and you can mint your Hedron and sell your Hedron and get more hex or get USDC or whatever you want to get. Okay. Well, there's another cool thing that you can do. 
Uh, if, if you want to do a native hex stake, you can go to app.icosa.pro and go to the hex section on the app and create a stake. And it's no different than what we just had on go.hex.com. But if you want to do a native stake, when it says stake type, you have to go here and you want to do native, a native hex stake. Okay. Then you put how much you want to do. This was a T-share, 24,200. Stake length, let's do 3,650. And bigger pays better bonus is 0.39. Uh, longer pays better is 48,400 hex. Stake T-shares, three, 2.99. And that's it. And that's how you would do it. It doesn't say, um, oh wait, native. It just says insufficient hex balance because I don't have any hex in this account. But then you would click there and okay it in your wallet and it would be staked. Cool. So that is a native hex stake. And when you want to go to unstake, you can, you'll be able to do it here. All your stakes will show up here on ICOSA, uh, the app.icosa.pro, or you can just use the traditional uh, go.hex.com under stake. You would go down here and all your active stakes would be there and you'll be able to end them. Now, be careful. If you want to, if you're doing native stakes and you don't have an intention of the intention of honoring your stake, meaning you don't have the intention of completing that whole stake. I'll make this big for you. I'm going to reiterate this. If you're using go.hex.com and native stakes, but you do not have the intention of completing your stakes, say, for example, you stake something for about 10 years, but you know in your mind you're never going to get to the 10 years, then do not use a native stake. We call hex the truth engine, meaning... If you unstake early, you're going to lose all of your bonuses. If you unstake before the 50% mark of your stake, say, for example, it's 10 years and, and you stake, you start, um, if you unstake before the five-year mark, it's going to eat into your principal. If you stake for 10 years and you un, and 24 hours later after the stake's complete, you hit unstake, you will lose everything. All right? It's the truth engine. Honor it. If you're using go.hex.com, do not mess with the stakes, all right? Stick to what you, you said you're going to do. Okay, so for those of you who do not have the intention of sticking around for the whole stake, there's something for you. That's called an HSI stake. And an HSI stake can be done on the Hedron app or the Icosa app. So let me share my screen again. First, let's go to Hedron. Now, it's hedron.pro. You will go to the DAP, Hedron DAP, create a hex instance. Click on this. How much hex, how much hex you want to make uh, in the in here? Say 1,000. How many days? 3650. Stake hex. Um, yeah, can't do it because we don't have any hex in our wallet. But that's exactly how you do it. It's just an HSI stake. And this stake, what's so cool about it? is that you could turn it into an NFT anytime you want and then eat and sell it on OpenSea or a place like that. Or you can go here to Icosa and create the stake, which I recommend. You don't really need to be using the Hedron app. You could use this for this. You do how much hex you want to do, 1,000. And if you're going to do an HSI stake, I just recommend doing everything 55-55 because you can sell it anytime you want. Stake type, encapsulated. HSI encapsulated, all right? You're turning it into an NFT, all right? How much hex do you want to do? Uh, the, the bigger pays better bonus is zero. The longer pays better bonus is 2,000 hex. You're going to get 123.96 B shares. Let's, let's do it like we were doing before, 24,200. That's the full full T-share. So you're going to get three T-shares again. Um, your your bigger, longer pays better bonus is 48,400, and the bigger pays bon better bonus is 0.39 hex, which is negligible. Then you would just click create the stake, and then you would have a hex stake. Now, I'm not going to go over it right now, but there's a way that you can chain. Once the HSI stake is made, 
any HSI stake. I don't care when you made it. You could turn it into an NFT anytime you want. Okay. I think that's here. Yeah. Here's your, your, it would show you all of your HSI encapsulated stakes under the Hedron tab. Okay. You can create the stake right here. And then once that's done, you'll have a drop down where you could change it into a tokenized HSI NFT. And that'll give you all of those down here. Those are the ones that you turn into NFTs. And I'm not going to go into ICOSA today, but once you have it in a tokenized HSI NFT, you could sell it anytime you want for ICOSA. And ICOSA is pretty much pegged to hex at 30 hex per one ICOSA. So whenever you want to get your money back out, you can using a tokenized HSI NFT. Okay. And what happens is after 90 days, once you do that, you change Dicosa, your stake comes up for auction and anybody can buy it. So that's how you can stay. You can sell your stake, um, your stake tax that have been turned into NFTs. I know it sounds confusing. All right. But you don't have to worry. And you, I, I already did. You can see the video of how to go through the process. But uh, I'm not going to tell you how to uh, change them into tokenized HSI NFTs in this video because that video is already done. All right. So. There you go. That's the different ways to um, make hex stakes. It's not that complicated. Um, you just got to get in there and play with it. I do recommend taking advantage of the bigger pays better bonus. Uh, if you want to use traditional hex native stakes, then, then just do a ladder. And the reason why we do a ladder is because there's always things that happen that we don't expect. Not all of us are super wealthy, right? So um, maybe you have the temptation to take your 100,000 hacks and stake it all out for 15 years. Sounds good, right? Oh, yeah, I'm all hyped up. But then six months later, you lose your job. And you have all this money that's staked and you can't touch it. So what I recommend doing is making a ladder, a six-month ladder, which means every six, excuse me, every six months or a, a ladder of every year or every two years, but I do highly recommend doing a ladder. Now, if you are one of those people that has no idea your financial situation and you might need the money at any time, then use HSIs. HSIs are better for that. They're more liquid and you could sell them at any time. I hope that helps everybody. Um, make sure you subscribe and give me a like and uh, I'll be making more videos like this for you guys. Cheers.